Hey guys, it's Basic Sorgonomics. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter. Please check out Sorgatron.com. It's my blog for this and more shows and, and audio and, and write-ups and all kinds of stuff. Help you help you out, guys, uh, around what you are doing. And also please Psychic Media Services or if you need help with your services and some education. We got a lot of stuff, a lot of fun stuff going on out there. So uh, let's get into it. So one big thing that I'm, I'm really big on is uh, customer service. Uh, you guys know I run IndieWrestling.us, previously you know, kind of a store on Sogatron Media, I'm really kind of trying to establish for our, my, my wrestling clients, uh, our friends here locally with the International Wrestling Cartel and Renegade Wrestling Alliance, uh, to build, build a, a place that they can purchase their DVDs, move to digital downloads, introduce people to that, and and it's really I'm kind of rolling my own uh, uh, service as far as these goes. I'm using WordPress. I'm using these plugins to kind of manage things a little bit, and uh, uh, it's a great work uh, getting those kind of converted over to a new website from our friend Alex Cars. So, and in that process, I mean stuff is going to screw up, and I've been very big on. I really believe in customer service when you believe in the thing you're trying to sell. I'm no good at customer service when I'm trying to sell somebody else's stuff that I don't give a crap about. Uh, and that's kind of my problem uh, when it comes to those things. I, the magazine subscriptions, telemarketing, doesn't work for me. But when it comes to something like this, I'm going to try to give 110%. Um, and things happen. We get glitches as we go into digital downloads. Oh, my download didn't, didn't, didn't download. It's like, oh, did you try this? Did you try this? Oh, hey, there's a setting in here. Thank, uh, so sorry that it didn't work out. But, but you know, you're going you're gonna to discover those problems as you go. One thing I have since the launch of Indie Wrestling, and I had noticed so much, uh, but none of the DVD sales were coming through the site. You were still getting DVD sales. So I didn't notice the problem because we still have an old system over at IWCWrestling.com. Uh, where people can buy the DVDs basically through just a PayPal buy button that we have implemented on there, the hard way, let's be honest. Um, but that's the old way of still there, still implemented, and, and people bought their DVDs through that, and, and we're good to go. So I didn't notice that people were having problems until uh, my, my new best friend and MVP of IndieWrestling.us, Zach, uh, came up to me at uh, RWA, and he was telling me about problems. One, he knows some, some issues with the DVDs, which uh, apparently there's something I haven't been connecting in the menus. And it's hard when you don't have like other people to kind of look at something and test like that, like, like I might have had at the old video house. And so there might be little things that, are, that, that aren't the perfect way in there. And I, I try very hard to make sure that that's the case that they are are, are kind of uh, good. I mean, you can hit play, you can watch the thing, and maybe the DVD menu just didn't go to the chapter menu or something like that. Which, honestly, we don't put out a lot of DVDs, so it's not a huge, huge issue. There's only a couple people are going to notice the issue, but still, it pains me every time I know those couple people are are seeing that. And, and I worry it's going to discourage them from buying more DVDs. And I can only dream that it pushes them to buy the digital downloads. But I understand some people just want the disc, and, and, and digital downloads don't work for everybody, um, especially some of these crowds that we have on certain wrestling shows. Um, they're just not digital. They're not connected. So I put out an email and said, listen, um, this has been screwed up. We know. I know now it's been screwed up for a while. I have my apologies. And I, and I actually put up a bid and said, hey, if you put an order in this week, before the end of the week on DVD that you were trying to get, um, I'm actually going to, I have a, I have some stock here. Um, I'm going to throw some extra DVDs into DVD DVDs. I don't well, I haven't decided. It depends on how much trouble you tell me you had probably, um, into the, into the package and, and, and try to make good on that, right? Give you something a little extra, uh, for, for your troubles. Get the DVD you want, get something a little extra, sample some stuff, you know, please. Um, I feel like it, it felt like it was the least I could do. It's kind of hard for me to add on a lot of stuff. On the physical side, it's easier for me to say, hey, here's an extra match. Here's an extra digital download. Sorry about that. Here's a coupon code. Um, so I'm trying to do the thing that makes sense, and it's not going to make me break the bank, basically, um, on something that isn't a high, high, high revenue generator uh, in the business uh, as yet. Um, but I want to make sure those people are going to come back and hopefully help build that thing and hopefully be advocates for the site. Um and also, I know what it's like, and I know the uphill climb I have when it comes to being my own um, market, basically. I'm competing with iTunes. I'm competing with Amazon. You know, people are used to those kinds of experiences. 
And when you go to, I'm afraid that especially the old way that we used to do things as part of another website, it looks shady. And if I'm not sure, it, I'm, if I'm not sure if if I'm really going to get the thing that I paid for, which I really worry every time it's like, hey, the download didn't come through, or hey, I didn't get the email with the, with the link, I want to make sure that's resolved. I want to reassure and say, hey, I'm here, and I'm not just freaking taking your money. You know, um, I want to make sure you can get these things, and you want to get them, and you'll continue to get them, and build around that. And I think we have a pretty good base of people that I know when I go through the, the sales every month, I see a lot of familiar names. It looks like they're very regular. And I think that's a really, really, really cool thing. And and we're not, you know, in, our, in my case, I'm kind of competing against, get partnering with uh, SmartMark videos. They just have a lot more traction. They work with a lot more groups. Um, and thankfully still take the productions that we do, even though, you know, we do have our own site on the side. Uh, but, but, you know, they, we get a lot of traction through that and a lot of people kind of discovering and getting us through that system, which is maybe more reliable. But again, they are also competition, hopefully friendly competition. Um, and actually I have some good email conversations with the guy over there, um, which is weird, you know, because it's definitely a site that I've kind of looked up to um, in, in the past uh, when it comes to the, this as far as I got into indie wrestling and alternative wrestling over the years. It brought up a lot of wrestling mayhem show. But um, but no, I think it's important to be humble when it comes to that. Um when you, when you, you, oh, I screwed something up, you know, don't get defensive. Had a very horrible incident the other day where we went to McDonald's. I know McDonald's, what do you expect out of it? But, uh, it was stupid, right? Oh, Hey, I, I ordered a large, uh, well, it said medium on the slip. I'm like, Oh, Oh, I'm sorry. You know, I'm like, okay, I guess I, I you know, I didn't see her ring it up wrong. And in my mind, all right, it's not what I wanted or what my wife wanted, uh, but it's what we paid for. So it's not that bad. You know, I, I, I worry about getting the thing and oh, I paid for the, I paid for the large and I got the medium. You know, that kind of case. I mean, we're talking about pennies at this point. Um, but she said that. I was like, oh, OK, that's that's fine. And then I was like, OK, all right, that's all right. Uh, we're, we're, we got the medium. That's fine. I go look at the slip she gave us. I'm like, all right. I look. I was like, wait, this is a large. It says a large. I went and knocked on the window. We're still waiting for our food at this point. And I, and and I probably got a little more like, well, forceful, like ex, you know, you know, spoke up a bit. Excuse me, it says large on here. You know, whatever case. She opens up and she's like, I'm getting it. And I'm like, excuse me, well, you know, in my mind, it's like, well, one, you never told me that you were fixing it. You you reserved us to the fact that 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 we were wrong or that it was wrong somewhere else along the line. And then you snap at me because you're fixing it because I noticed you said the wrong thing. Well, well, it's a little less forgiving than I am if somebody has an angry letter. But that's the kind of thing where... Uh, I don't want to be to the point where, um, and it should never be to the point where somebody's like, my download isn't downloading right. I was like, well, maybe it's your internet. Well, it must be something you're doing. Well, you're not using the right browser. Well, did you read the directions? You have to be softer than that, you know, especially you're teaching these people in a lot of cases how to use your service and be familiar with your service. And there's a lot of things in the service. It's not as, it's certainly not as easy as using an iTunes or using an Amazon. There's not a button. And there's not a button that I can continue to click and watch it anytime I want on demand. We're not set up for that. And depending on what computer you're on, whatever your setup is, that video may load up in your browser and just play. It's not really built to do it that way. And then uh, it stops or it, it, it's been, quote, downloaded too many times because every time it stopped and started again and buffered, that's a new download that started in, in the mind of the server and the system. And that, that, that bumps up your limit. Um, you have to file save as and download the thing. It's, it's, it's what we're set up to do, unfortunately, at this point. Um, so it's very interesting. It's very interesting when it comes to that. So, um, But no... Definitely. Uh, your customer, we were talking about podcasts, your customer is your listener. And you have to listen to them and help them out, too. And and also know what's reasonable and unreasonable, you know. Um, 
when somebody was telling me that my HD video wasn't working their iPod Nano anymore. Sorry. <laughs> you know, I can't do anything about that. You know what I mean? Um, or it's with, it's outside of my bandwidth to fix that because in my mind, I, how many iPad Nano watchers do I have of my video? You know, um, you got to assess. And sometimes it's a battle that you just need to walk away from. Sometimes it's a battle. And most of the time it needs to be a battle where you keep everybody. And you have to learn which is which. Hope that helps. Hope that helps you. Hope you can be a customer of mine someday. <laughs> Whether it be wrestling or something else. Sorgatron.com. Sidekickmediaservices.com and a lot of our productions at sorgatronmedia.com. Sign up for the newsletter. And we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.